And for the last several years, something amazing has happened. I've gotten a series of calls, emails, and formal applications from high-level journalists in their 20s and 30s. I'm not talking about people in journalism school. I'm talking about people who have elite jobs at the best magazines and newspapers, people who've been nominated for national magazine awards, people who've written important, influential books that have been widely reviewed and gained much acclaim. And they say this, Professor Kleinenberg, I don't think I can have a career in this profession anymore. It, it's not viable. Mm. People around me are drowning. I am scrambling and working too hard to get too few stories out. I need to find something to do. Do you think it's too late for me to go into academia and get a PhD? The world where news companies, where journalistic organizations and individual journalists are concerned about how to build their own cloud. They want to win eyeballs in an attention economy. That's a world in which entertainment values trump news values. Because you can't compete with cute kitties. You can't compete with porn. You can't compete with celebrities. You can't compete with lifestyle. When you see something that's going wrong in a publicly funded media system, the question should be, how do you make a public, public media system work better? What are the places that do it well? What are the institutions that do it well? What are the things that go wrong recurrently? And how can we learn from those things? Let me tell you, as someone who's lived inside the United States for a long time and who's written a lot about the media system in the United States, you don't want to live in a media system where there's $4 per capita spending on public media. Let me say that again. You don't want to live in a media system that looks like the United States one does. I, I think, for, as an outsider, I think journalism is an extraordinary profession, and it's a hard-won profession. And it's a profession that is capable of producing work that has a public benefit like almost no other profession I know. I think in, there's always going to be some number of journalists who can report for the New Yorker or the Atlantic, the really elite publications, and there'll be demand for them. But what we've lost is that magical combination of things that gave rise to this blood and guts reporting that drove kind of the, the political system th that we call democracy. So I do not want to get rid of professional journalism. I'd like news organizations to be thinking entrepreneurially and seriously about how to make a new model work. And I think also we need to think sharply about this question of how the public media plays a role and how the foundations play a role. We don't have to vote for one and kick the other off the island. We have to intelligently bring them together. Thank you very much. Thank you. Interesting for time. Eric Landenberg.